Happy New Year, everybody! It's 2018! Woo! Hi, Alice at Seaside Housewife here. Um, do what was I going to say? Yeah, I thought I'd do a little video just saying hi, Happy New Year, and this is what I've got planned for this year. So, we have got a 1969 Bluebird Europe 3 Caravan and we have been doing her up and she's almost finished just a couple of last minute jobs before our first show later in this year which I'm very excited about and we have also got a 1985 Volvo 240 in bright red which I absolutely adore my dream come true last year of buying that so very excited she's got a few little jobs to do and then she'll be ready for her first show too we have three beautiful children who are very very loud and very very busy aged seven five and three and we take them on family adventures and holidays and this year we're going to Scotland I'm so excited I can't wait we're gonna go to that place Yes, very excited. So this year we're planning our biggest holiday ever in Daisy. We've not actually stayed very many nights in her before. So this is gonna be the first time that we're going away for an extended amount of time of two weeks. So we're gonna be packing obviously very differently. Uh, uh, we're gonna be moving from site to site. We're not just gonna be at one site the whole time. We're going up for a really big family event that's gonna be held by Loch Ness in the summer. Uh, so I'm just so excited absolutely love Scotland it's breathtakingly beautiful and I haven't seen enough of it I've only ever been to Edinburgh before which is where my family are so it's gonna be really amazing traveling a bit further into the wilds of beautiful Scotland with our 1960s caravan so stay tuned for that more details of when it's happening and and my whole planning and preparation of it are coming soon when I buy a diary. I know it's like the 11th of January and I still haven't brought a 2018 diary. So, <laughs> which when you're trying to book holiday dates and things would be quite essential and helpful, but never mind. I've booked a couple of events so far this year. We've booked Trudge Fest. I'm so excited. I am, I'm really excited about Trudge Fest. I know, Dan, you hate that name, but it's definitely caught on. And I think there's a bit of a hashtag trust Trudge Fest going on as well. So if you haven't heard of Trudge Fest, head over to Dan Trudgeon's uh, wonderful channel all about caravanning. He is arranging, along with his family, a big get together. And we're going, yay, we're booked, we're booked, we're booked. So I'm very excited about doing that one because it'll be a little bit different to stuff we've done before and I know the kids are gonna just love it. So we'll definitely be vlogging about that one. We've also booked Daisy's first uh, show of the year. If you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that we do a mixture of adventures and shows. It means that we get to go to amazing events much cheaper. It does mean that we're showing the van, which can be hard work around three young children, but it's definitely worth it. We went to some wonderful shows last year, and I'm hoping to return to some of those this year too. The one that we've booked is coming up in May, and we went there when Daisy was about eight weeks into her restoration so we've got the inside almost finished and watertight and safe to be on the road but she definitely didn't look her best on the outside we had some wonderful feedback and some lovely comments that weekend about how great it was to see something being done up and loved and it's going to be so exciting returning back to that show now with a matching tow car and daisy finished it's going to be a real moment for me i'm sure because it's it's been a lot of hard work, but absolutely rewarding and wonderful and learned so much. And doing it up around the kids has been really hard. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, there's me with baby on a carrier, sawing wood and doing crazy stuff. Um, but it's all been worth it and the kids absolutely adore Daisy. We were meant to be doing something really fun in the run up to Christmas that I was very excited about videoing for you and our car broke down on the way and it was a very sad depressing time so my videos got a little bit out of sync over Christmas so I'm planning on rectifying that now we are hopefully we have rebooked this adventure for later on this month so keep an eye out I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't want to jinx it because I think we've tried to go twice already so this is gonna be third time lucky on this one guys and hopefully it works 
So keep an eye out for that video because it's going to be amazing. It's very exciting and it's going to open up a new chapter for us. Ooh, what could she be talking about? And then what else did we do? We were meant to go away for New Year's and I was so excited because we went away last New Year's. And if you'd said to me before I tried winter camping that I would be camping in a caravan for New Year's, I would have laughed in your face because I just was like, no way, no way. And it was one of the best camping trips I've ever done. There is something really magical about being in your little cozy box while the rest of the world is kind of ice and coldness and crispness of waking up in a field and that morning kind of just fresh, like icy air. Oh, it's just, it's wonderful. And I have real brilliant top tips for winter camping. So I was really excited about videoing it for you. But unfortunately, we had car trouble in the lead up to it, which messed up other plans. So we were like, will we, won't we, will we, won't we? And then my husband was really poorly. So we didn't get in, get to go. And he said he'll make it up to me, but bless him, he doesn't have anything to make up. He was ill, it's not his fault. These things happen. We're just gonna have to make sure we get out in Daisy a lot more this year. So that brings me back to my channel. What can you expect from 2018? Well, you can expect me babbling away, having drunk lots of coffee, that's for darn sure. Uh, you can expect some more jobs and how-tos on Daisy, because there's a few more little jobs we've got to do before May. You can expect some videos on our awesome tow car. Very excited to be using her for towing, which is really cool. Uh, so you can expect some videos on Daisy, 1969 Bluebird. You can expect some more videos on our now named Volvo called Ditto. Uh, it was a real argumentative point with my husband and we were cheering and throwing for ages and our lovely, lovely followers gave us loads of ideas but we've settled on Ditto now. So it's Ditto and Daisy will be at shows this year so keep an eye out for them. Uh, they might hopefully be in a few publications as well so keep your eyes out. We'll be going on lots of adventures so our big Scottish trip into the wild, I can't wait. Uh, also the Trudge Fest and a few other things that also be reviews so I try and review items that I use a lot I also get sent items to review as well but I'll always state that in my videos if it's an item I've been sent or if it's something I've bought uh, what else yeah I think that's about it really some how to's some adventures some shows some trips more of the same just lots lots more I'll also be doing what Oh yes, I'm hoping to film some of my uh, recipes as well. The recipes on my blog do really, really well and people try them and then send me pictures and, and tell me how they've done with them and everything. So I know that you can follow them really easily from the blog, but sometimes it's just nice to see a video of how I've actually achieved those things and take you through it a little bit more. So if you don't know and you've not really followed me for long or this is the first time you've seen me, I practice a vegan diet with our three children and my lovely husband. We changed our diet about two years ago. Well, no, I think it was slightly longer than that because this is our third. This was our third Christmas with a vegan uh, Christmas, which was wonderful. There's something really lovely about sitting down and your table is just full of all this beautiful food and just oh yeah, it was really really good. So you have to check out my blog all about our vegan Christmas. I'm not one of those. I mean, people hear the word vegan and some people get a bit scared that you're going to start shouting at them about their life choices. For me, it's just about being healthy and being kind. Just being kind to the planet, being kind to my fellow man and being kind to my fellow creature too. So that's what I practice with my family. That's one of our mantras, 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 uh, is we have two main family mantras and one is be kind. Every morning before school, I'll say to my children, what are we gonna do today? And their reply is always, be kind. That's the first thing. If I create nothing but kind human beings, I will die happy. Kind, happy children, that's all I want. And then our second mantra, so they're about the same, we use them about the same amount, is let's go. Because we <laughs> go, let's go, when they're a bit tired on a really big walk or they're having a bit of a meltdown, we're like, let's go out in the fresh air or let's go hitch up the caravan or let's go. So you'll be hearing a lot more of let's go and be kind this year from me. 
So 2018, I hope it brings you lots of blessings, lots of wonderful things, uh, lots of kindness and lovely stuff and lovely adventures. And I hope you can join me and my family on a few of our adventures too. So if you have just found me, please subscribe for more videos and more babbling and more adventures and stuff. And if there's something that you'd really like to know more about or would really like to see me film about, then let me know in the comments. So, huge love to you all, Happy New Year, and I'll be seeing lots more of you guys in 2018. And I hope that didn't sound really, really cheesy. It might have sounded really cheesy, sorry. Bye!